Hello everyone and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will see how we can create a theme extension. By that I mean, you can extend the current theme to include your own colors, your styles, etc. So that you can use it like any other theme that's part of your application. So let's start. As usual, I'll be starting with an empty template. I just have an empty container with a white background as home. Now let's look at the basic template that Flutter has created for us for a new project. Here we have a theme with a theme data with primary swatch color as blue. So this is basically the light theme and you can have your dark theme as well. So I have a home with an empty container. Now I'm going to create a new file, a class. Which I'm going to call home page. Let me import the material package here and Let's create a basic, a simple layout to demonstrate the theme extensions. So let me create a container with a padding of 30, a child with a column and the text which says just hello flutter and a container with a width of 200 and a height of 200. I'm going to give it a color. Color is going to be colors.green. And let me apply a style for the text. So that's the theme dot of context, which is the inherited widget. And I'm gonna access the text theme and body large style. So let me declare a variable failure is equal to false. And if it is failure, I'm gonna change the color of the container to red, otherwise it's green. And let me declare a new text button which will set which will toggle the failure variable true and false and the text of that button is going to be failure and success based on the failure boolean value now let's go to the window.file and change the home to the new home page let me give it the alignment, some spacing. Okay. Yeah. So that's working. Now let's go to the settings and change the theme to dark theme. And if we come back to the app, you can see that nothing has changed because we haven't declared a dark theme yet. So let's declare a new theme data for the dark theme. And let's change the abar theme background color to colors dot, let's say green when it is dark. So right now it's dark. And let me copy that to the light theme and make it teal, make it constants. And if you go back to the settings and change to light theme and come back to the app, you can see that the abar theme has changed to teal. Now let's, I'm setting the theme to, the dark theme to black. And if I go back and change to dark theme, you can see that it immediately changes to black. But how can I declare my own colors? I want my own properties to the theme. That's not possible, right? So if you try to write something like that, you will get some error. So let's solve that. I'm gonna create a new file let me say theme.dart and I'll move all the themes from the main.dart to my app theme class. Let me write a private constructor and I'm gonna, I'm gonna declare two variables static final theme data light theme is equal to theme data and similarly dark theme which is a theme data and I'll go to the main.dart file and I'll copy the, the theme variables and the styles and paste it in the light theme and dark theme so that I can move the code from the main.dart file to a separate file. So that's much cleaner. And here I will just say app theme dot light and app theme dot dark. But if you want to write the extensions here you can do that as well so we can just 
do here extensions and you can write your own extension so you can do that as well but i'll i prefer to write it in a separate file so yeah so we'll just do just change this to app theme dot light and app theme dot dark okay so let's see if this is working refresh the app okay that's good and if you still want to write your extensions here you can do it with copy with and you can write your extension here so that's another way now let's go back to the theme.dart file and we are going to write our extensions here like this okay so let's start by creating a new file i'm gonna create a new folder extensions and create a new file i'm gonna name it my colors my colors dot dart and create a new class my colors extends theme extensions and give it the same type and let's override two methods first is the copy with and second one is the lerp i'm going to make it immutable and create a constructor to keep to keep this simple i'm gonna declare two variables success and failure and we need to pass it in the constructor required success and required failure and in the copy with method i'm going to pass the two variables color success and color failure now let's return the my color here and let's pass the success and failure here great okay now let's go to the lerp method so the lerp method is used to interpolate between two values so if it is not our my color let's return the just return this otherwise let's return my colors and do the interpolation colors dot lerp with success failure and pass in the double value and similarly for failure and that's it and let's override one more method and if you want really want to print out the the values you can use this using two string so i'm gonna return my colors and print out the success and failure colors here so if you call two string it's going to return this value now let's write a couple of methods to make things easy that's called uh, light and i'm gonna return couple of default values which will be used when the app is in the light theme for success and failure and similarly for the dark theme let me change the failure color to something similar to red when it is a light theme and when it is in the dark theme i'm going to change the colors to something like this and failure as well something similar to gray yep so that's the default colors for light and theme and in the app theme in the extensions i'm gonna call constant theme extension and pass in the dynamic because if you want to write more than one uh, theme extension you can use that so it's an array similarly for the dark theme that will be my colors dot dark okay great now let's see how we can use this inside our app so here you can see i have used a body large for the text right and you know that you can customize it so in the light theme i can write text theme constant theme and i can override the body large style with my own style i'm going to say colors dot red for light and a font size of let's say 20 and similarly when it is dark and if if i'm using the body large theme 
it's going to be in purple color okay let's see if that works yeah it's changed to flutter because sorry it's changed to purple because we are in dark theme and when it is light theme it should change to red right yeah that's how the default theme works you can override the default themes but here we are writing our own extensions right so let's use our own extension so final my colors is equal to i'm gonna use theme dot of context dot extension and i'm gonna pass in my colors and unwrap it so it's that easy my colors dot success sorry my colors dot failure and it will be my colors dot success so that's how easy it is now so now my colors is part of the theme itself right i can use it as part of the theme i can change the colors so whatever i want right so here if i i can change the colors the default colors as well right so when the user changes to dark and light theme it will change accordingly so if i change to the dark kind of red changes in the light theme and if i change that to uh this color for the dark theme failure let's see if that works and if i refresh and if i go ahead and change to dark theme and if i come back to the app and when it is failure you see this color you can see if i refresh right and if i if it is failure you can see the other color so now my extension is part of the theme itself so it's a part of it's a part of the theme it's an extension of the theme so now my color is actually an extension of the theme itself so that's how useful it is so so now you don't have to write uh, the colors outside the theme and include it in your ui or you can write uh, you don't have to write the themes or sorry the styles outside now everything is part of the theme and you can access it using theme dot off context so that will be much cleaner and very easy to write and use right so so if you want to use the theme uh, extensions here you can write like this theme extension and dynamic and you can pass in your list of theme extensions here that will be part of the theme itself and you can access it like theme dot of context and similarly you can do it for the dark theme right so now we are accessing the the dark theme of the system the default theme itself and you can copy with you can extend that theme as well if you want so it's that easy and so convenient so yeah much cleaner so this extensions were included uh, that it came with the flutter 3 so it's much useful and it makes the code much cleaner and much maintainable so yeah very useful feature so if you like the video please don't forget to like subscribe and share and thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye